Hey fam bam, welcome back to another Sunday Reset on Ibby Inspire TV. If you are new, you know what to do, like, comment, and subscribe. So fam, this week has been such a stressful week for me. So for today's Sunday's Reset, I figured that we do a cozy, relaxing, and relief night in. So to set the cozy vibe, I'm burning this smell good stress relief candle that I picked up from Bath & Body Works. And then I also got this unwrap and relax self collection from Burlington Coat Factory. Bam, this relaxing self care set was so nice. It included body oil, a lymphatic massage tool, cellulite cream, and a dry body brush. So this was only for about $12 at Burlington Coat Factory. And these products were so high quality. I definitely recommend you hitting up Burlington Coat Factory if you're looking for some cozy and relaxing body care products. Now fam, if you've been watching my other Sunday resets, you know that this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water is definitely one of my holy grails. So I'm starting off with this to clean off my makeup. And now it is time to unwind and take care of my body. So fam, I'm starting off with this dry brushing tool that I got in my set. I've never used it before, but I've heard so many great benefits to it. And so I figured that I would give this a try because I see all the TikTok and YouTube girlies using this. So fam, now it is officially time to hop in the shower and today's Neo Soul Shower Jam is Falling by Sir. I have been listening to him a lot lately and I absolutely love him. And fam, to keep within our relaxing theme, I picked up this Refresh and Calm Lavender and Collagen Exfoliating Body Wash. And then I picked up this Relax Sea Minerals Pomegranate Freesia Body Scrub. Y'all know I have to do a good body scrub to set the week right. So the body scrub was a little bit of a thinner consistency than I was normally used to. If you've been watching our Sunday resets, you know that I love a really nice thick body scrub, but I actually really did not mind this body scrub at all. I'm really big on smell good products and this body scrub hit the pomegranate scent right on the head. So it smelled really nice. But this collagen and lavender body wash was really the star of a show. It was such a great smelling body wash. As you can see, I absolutely loved it. It smelled just like a spa. So if there is anything that I recommend in today's self-care, this body wash is definitely the one to get. So now I am fresh out the shower and I can tell you that I'm already feeling relaxed after doing my shower body care. So along with the Sea Minerals Pomegranate Freesia Body Scrub, I also picked up their Renewing Body Butter. This was very lightweight, which is not something that I normally go for, but it still felt really, really good on my skin. And now I'm going in with my lymphatic massage tool, which apparently also has really great benefits, such as helping to get rid of toxins and waste and reducing water retention, which is definitely what I need after eating a lot of junk for the weekend. 
And before I put on my Sunday reset outfit, I am topping everything off with this body oil that I also got from the Unwrap and Relax Self Care Collection. This body oil did smell like roses. I'm not the biggest fan of a rose scent, but it was very nice and subtle. And as you can see, it made my skin glow. So that was a bonus. So I put on a nice cozy and relaxing Sunday reset outfit. And as you can see, my mood has already shifted and I already feel better. And to keep the cozy vibes going, today I'm gonna be cooking a nice cozy Sunday reset meal. So fam, I'm going to put you on to one of the most coziest meals that you can make on a Sunday reset. So today, I decided that we were going to be making a pesto ranch chicken pasta. I decided to choose this because I want to show y'all how easy and how delicious this meal is. So first things first, we're going to start off by washing <laughs> and seasoning our chicken for our pasta. So as you can see, these are some of my favorite seasonings for this pasta. But of course, you have every right to choose the seasonings of your choice. And as you can see, my chicken is nice and seasoned. Today, I'm deciding that I was going to bake my chicken. I normally like to bake my chicken because it is a healthier option and it's super duper fast to make. And now it is time to boil my linguine. As you can see, I don't break my pasta. I am team no break pasta. <laughs> and this is actually what I was really excited to show you. This is the sauce that I am creating for today's pasta. Literally, all I'm putting into this sauce is ranch and pesto. The pesto does the talking. It has its own seasoning in it. So if you are a person that's not good at seasonings or if you don't want to put a lot of seasoning in your food, this is definitely a great option. And as you can see, fam, this sauce hits every time. <laughs> So as a last minute thought, I decided to put some sweet onions in my cozy pasta. It is totally optional and you definitely don't have to do it. I know for a lot of other people, they like tomatoes and they like other different vegetables. So it's really up to you. But our pasta is all done. So it is time to plate and eat. And I know the sight of green may throw some people off. They don't like the color green and it may seem extra healthy, but fam, I am telling you, this pasta is top tier. Please try it and if you do, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. You can even add some Parmesan and red pepper flakes to garnish everything. And it is just so mwah, chef's kiss. It is so good. And fam, your girl has got a sweet tooth. So to celebrate our delicious pasta, I am making these peanut butter cookies. I don't know, I was just craving peanut butter cookies, so I decided to go with that today. And I honestly forgot how easy it was to make. I literally just added eggs, milk, and a little bit of oil, and I was all set to go. And I wanted to make a cozy and relaxing drink for my cookies. So today I'm drinking the toasted coconut tea from Bigelow. I will like to And to sweeten things up, but not too much, I'm adding in this caramel macchiato creamer from Starbucks. I literally put this creamer in my teas, my coffees, everything. 
and my cookies are officially done. Can we give my cookies a moment? <laughs> they are so perfect and so round and so circular. Y'all, I was so proud of myself today. They actually look like ginger snap cookies, but I didn't care. <laughs> They tasted so good. They were so moist. These cookies were such a perfect option for a cozy and relaxing Sunday reset. Thank you so much again for watching another Sunday reset on Ibby Inspired TV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah! Bye!